And Martin Jakes, good to have you on CCTV News. Your best seller, When China Rules the World, has triggered serious discussion uh, about China's role in the 21st century world order. So could you please tell us what's your new insights about China's transformation and its international influence? Well, I think in, in, in the first book I had two main propositions. One was China's rise, uh, which I viewed to be an ongoing and permanent thing and which I thought it would replace the United States ultimately as the major power. And secondly, that China is very different, very distinct from the West and isn't simply going to become another Western-style country. Um, and in this new edition of the book, um, one of the key things is to look at where China's got to and um, what I think is a major shift taking place. Uh, between 1978 and around about 2010, 2011, we can sort of talk about the Deng Xiaoping era with its two key objectives, which were the reduction of poverty and economic growth. And everything was subordinated, really, to that, everything. We can see a new era opening up, which for the want of a better term, I'm going to call the Xi Jinping era where quite new possibilities, prospects, can be entertained by China. In a way, it's um, epitomized by the notion of the Chinese dream, where you have, uh, of course, quite new prospects for Chinese society, much more prosperous, uh, safety net, uh, urbanization, and so on. Well, you said that we, what we are going to see is a world shaped not by the West, but increasingly by China. Why do you think so? I do think that, and I think that um, we can already see that process uh, well underway. As a country uh, gets strong economically, then obviously its economic influence grows. Uh, it has trading partners around the world. It generates large amounts of capital. It therefore becomes a gravitational centre for other countries who want to engage with China because it's in their interest to engage with China. Now, we're very, very used to using the term westernization. You know, what does westernization mean? It means the influence of the West. But what we are beginning to see now is the beginnings of a process of sinicization. In other words, the growing influence of China. Well, you once said that the Western commentary on China's rise is erratic and tends to be a bit negative. So how can Westerners really see the picture in its full extent? It's a process. And if I think of my own country, we've traveled a long way in the last two decades in our attitude towards China. Once we thought of China only occasionally and only as a marginal factor, now we think of China as central to our own future as well.